आप सबको मेरा प्यार भरा नमस्कार आई एम ग्रेटफुल टू डॉक्टर नगेंद्र शर्मा जी फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दिस इम्पॉर्टेंट इवेंट एंड गिविंग मी ए वेरी काइंड ऑफ एक्सेंट इंट्रोडक्शन विच आई डोंट थिंक आई डिजर्व एंड प्रोफेसर शर्मा प्रोफेसर आर के गुप्ता फॉर टेलिंग अस वॉट नेचर इज ऑल अबाउट तो बिफोर आई स्टार्ट माई सेशन भगवान भगवान व भूमि ग गगन व वायु अ अग्नि न नीर तो हमारा जल थल वायु पृथ्वी और अग्नि ये पांच एलिमेंट से ये शरीर बना हुआ है हमारा शरीर इन पांच एलिमेंट से बना हुआ है और जब भी इनके बैलेंस में गड़बड़ होएगी तो शरीर बीमार हो जाएगा तो ये क्योंकि आपने बात करी नेचर की तो मैं ये नेचर में पांच चीजें ही हैं जो सबसे ज्यादा जरूरी है नाउ कमिंग टू टूडेज सीरीज ऑन प्रिवेंशन एंड लेट मी फर्स्ट टेल यू माय अदर कुलीग डॉक्टर प्रज्ञा शी इज डॉन विद फीवर सो शी इज नॉट कमिंग सो आई टेक बोथ द सेशन टूडे so we will finish the prevention part first have question and answer sessions and then after we finish the question and uh, answers in the prevention center then we will go to the uh, uh, palliative why are we talking about cancer today the cancer burden in india as professor sab just told you the incidence is rising gradually rising and in the last 2 3 decades it is kind of uh, earlier it was gradually rising it's now rising at a very very high speed we are a population of 135.5 crores and we detect almost 12 lakh new cases of cancer every year and out of these we lose almost 8 lakh cases every year and at any given time there are 22.5 lakh cases who are either suffering or under treatment or follow up or requiring palliative care now if we talk going to talk about cancer prevention we must know what are the cancer which we can prevent and what are the cancer which cannot prevent so before we go to that we must know what are the cancers which are prevalent in india in men the most common cancer is of the lip and the oral cavity hamara muh ki jo cavity hai usko oral cavity bolte hain number 2 is the lung और इन दोनों कैंसर्स का सबसे बड़ा सबसे बड़ा जो कारण है वो है तमाकू 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 शराब 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 पोल्यूशन 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 ये तीनों फैक्टर 40 परसेंट कैंसर जो हैं उसके लिए जिम्मेदार है देन वी गो टू द कैंसर ऑफ द स्टमक वी कैन नॉट प्रिवेंटेड कोलोरेक्टल वी कैन डिटेक्ट इट अर्ली बट वी कैन नॉट प्रिवेंटेड esophagus is our food pipe and others when we talk about cancers in the women cancer of the breast has risen twice about two decades ago or three decades ago cancer of the cervix bachchadani ka mom that used to be the most common cancer and we were being told that 40% of the cancer in women are cancer of the cervix but now the cancer of the cervix has gone down why i'll talk about it little later and the cancer of breast has gone up i'll talk why it has gone up everybody knows that uh, and most of the public thinks cancer is incurable and when they hear this when they see this heading good news they must be wondering गुड न्यूज का क्या मतलब हुआ कैंसर और गुड न्यूज येस ऑफकोर्स इज अ गुड न्यूज इन कैंसर एंड द गुड न्यूज इज कैंसर इज क्योरेबल आई रिपीट कैंसर इज क्योरेबल इफ डिटेक्टेड अर्ली एंड ट्रीटेड प्रॉपरली एट गुड कैंसर हॉस्पिटल एज पर नेशनल एंड इंटरनेशनल ट्रीटमेंट गाइडलाइन इट्स पॉसिबल टू प्रिवेंट थर्टी टू फिफ्टी परसेंट कैंसर बाई एडोप्टिंग लाइफ स्टाइल डोंट यू थिंक दिस इज अ गुड न्यूज we we from as i told you 
we are detecting about 12 lakh new cases of cancer, we can reduce it to 6 lakh cases. Don't you think it's a good news? And why this has become a good news now? Because of the research work. No branch of medicine has progressed as much as oncology, resulting in better diagnostic and treatment options in the last two, three decades. And that is why we are saying this is a good news. But there's a bad news. When everybody knows what the bad news is. Adoption of high-risk lifestyle is leading to global cancer epidemic. According to WHO, 37% women and 42% men are likely to get cancer in their lifetime. Just think for a minute that if 100 people, 100 men are sitting in a comfort room and 100 women are sitting in a room and 42% uh, men are likely to get cancer in their lifetime and one third, about 37% uh, women will get cancer. How, how scary the scenario is, but that's the truth. That's the truth. The way we are leading our life, that is what is going to happen to all of us. WHO also says that in the next 14 years, 70% of cancer patients in the world will be dying in developing countries. Do we want that scene? No. We have to change this. This prediction, we have to prove it wrong. And nobody else can do it except all of us together. Alone, nobody can do it. The entire society has to be involved. As we say, cancer is a global problem. It cannot be solved by the research workers and the doctors alone. The entire community has to be involved. The, unless the entire community gets involved, you cannot achieve anything. So, if we have to bring the incidence of cancer, improve the cure rate, you, our future, the youth, our teachers, they have to take it on themselves. They have to spread the message that we have to do preventive steps to save ourselves and our planet from cancer. But due to lack of awareness, cancer is detected at a very late stage when it is not curable. And then we need palliative care. Why should we go for the palliative care? Why do we need the palliative care? But today's scenario is that more and more and more people of cancer are requiring palliative care, not the cancer treatment. We go to palliative care a little later. People want to know what are the causes. You don't have to know, you already know it. Tobacco in any form, be it smoked or chewed or inhaled in any form. Cigarette, BD, hookah, pan masala, manjan paste, Maswa, you name it, any form. If supposing I'm a non-smoker, non-tobacco user, my chances of cancer, getting cancer are still about 10%. Okay? If I start using tobacco, I increase my chances of getting cancer from 10 to 20%, 20% improvement. And if I start taking alcohol, then from 10 to 20 to 30 Alcohol and tobacco is a deadly combination. It's a deadly combination. Tobacco will initiate the cancer and alcohol will promote it. So if if I'm a teetotaler, non-smoker, non-alcohol user, still my chances of getting cancer are 10%, but if I start both, they become 30%. Now the decision is ours. We have to see whether we want to invite cancer or we don't want to invite cancer. The third common cause for cancer is High fat food and overweight. Again, what are we doing here? Ghar ka khana. Ye bhi koi khana khane ga hai. Pizza lao. Burger le ke ao. Pasta le ke ao. Koi achhi cheez khane ki to. Ghar ka khana bhi koi khane ga hai. Khao. Cancer ko invite karo. Obesity ko invite karo. That's the third cause. Then there are infections. There's a bacteria called Helicobacter pylori. Which causes acidity and ulceration of the stomach and that leads to cancer of the stomach. HIV all of you know, hepatitis B you know, hepatitis C you know, human papilloma virus, HPV virus, maybe you know, maybe you don't know. We can treat them, we can vaccinate them, vaccinate against them, so we can prevent it. Environmental pollution, 
extensive use of pesticide in agriculture, exposure to radiation and asbestos. So these are our environmental reasons. You have some control on them, you may not have full control. But then there are genetic cancers. You and me have no control on the genetic cancer. We cannot change our genes. But genetic cancers are not very common. About 10% of the cancers are genetic, not all of them. And then there are about 30 to 40% of the cancer. We don't know what the cause is. Since we don't know the cause of it, then you hear people, na to maine kabhi sharab pi, na to kabhi maine jo tamaku liya, na maine burger khaye, main to tea trotler, bachara vegetarian, phir mujhe cancer kyun ho gaya? Because we don't know. There are unknown causes. That is why we can only prevent 30 to 50%, not all the cancers. But then there are predisposing factors. The research workers took out lakhs and lakhs of the files of cancer patients who had died. Now these cancers could be head and neck, could be chest, could be abdomen, could be bladder, bowel, genitalia, cervix, any, any part of the body. But they wanted to know, is there a common factor, is there a common link between all the cancers? And they came out with this four or five factors, chronic constipation. Why chronic constipation will invite cancer? Because when we, the gut, our intestines, the small intestine and the large intestine, what is their role? To digest the food and throw the waste out of our body. When we take, we, when we don't take enough vegetables and fruits and whole grains, and we concentrate on the pistas and pastas and the uh, burgers, maida, maida and maida, cheese, fat and preserve it. Then what happens is, we cannot empty out the waste quickly. For a vegetarian, the bowel will be emptied 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, maximum once, so once in 24 hours. But if you take a heavy food, you are not able to digest it quickly and it stays in your body. When it stays in your body, any waste product which stays in your body is toxic. It will release toxins. And if there is a cancer gene which is lying dormant, which is not active, which is lying dormant, that toxic element will kind of stimulate that gene. Chal shuru So they invite cancer. Chronic acidity. You hear most of the uh, go to any party, mujhe ye khana, mujhe ye khana, mujhe acidity hai. Kya kar rahe ho? Oh, antacid kha rahe ho. Oh, ye. Bina puche dawaiyan kha rahe ho. Now, the Hylobacter pylori, the bacteria that I talk, told you, 10 days of medicine and the person is cured. So why suffer with a chronic acidity? Why not get cured? All you have to go is, do is, go to a gastroenterologist, Talk to him about your problem, get an endoscopy done, they will take a sample of the from the stomach and if it is hylobacter pylori, give you 10 days of medicine, the acidity is gone for lifetime. Poor water intake. Now chronic acidity will kind of ulcerate our stomach lining and that will also cause cancer. Poor water intake. Jal, neer. Now, and if you don't take water, they will stay in your body again in white cancer. Sleep deficit. The youth, which I'm addressing to, and the professors, they are also very young. Ajkal ka trend kya hai, lifestyle kya hai? Bara baje, ek baje, do baje, teen baje, char baje tak jaag rahe hai. Jaag ki kam, kuch productive kaam bhi kar rahe hai, kuch kanda kaam bhi kar rahe hai, dolo kaam kar rahe hai. And they have to get back to the college next morning. There's a sleep deficit. The body clock that the God has made for us, the 
beautiful function of the body is that the wear and tear that we undergo all through the day, it needs repair. And when we sleep, that repair is done. And if we don't sleep, certain hormones are secreted from our brain and they will again cause cancer. So therefore, if you don't prepare the body, you are inviting cancer and plus you are secreting your brain will secrete certain hormones which cause cancer. Coming to the stress. Just say, don't talk to me, 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 don't talk to me. No, the stress has become a common word. Stress. ये इस स्ट्रेस को हम स्ट्रेस नहीं मानते हैं ये तो खामा खा की स्ट्रेस है बट देन पीपल हु लॉस्ट ए पेरेंट ए स्पाउस ए सिबलिंग ए चाइल्ड दैट इज द स्ट्रेस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दे आर अनेबल टू गेट आउट ऑफ दैट स्ट्रेस एंड इन दैट प्रोसेस यू सी दे लूज देयर स्लीप दे लूज देयर अपेटाइट दे डोंट ड्रिंक इनफ वाटर दे आर कॉन्सिपेटेड ऑल दो फैक्टर्स गेट टू बैटर and they get cancer. So these are the predisposing factors for cancer. Now people ask also, how do I know I have cancer? The warning signs of cancer. Now, before I talk about the warning sign of cancer, what I'm going to tell you is that these signs are not necessarily signs of cancer only. They can be due to other diseases also. So please, somebody has this one of these have a problem and goes home, oh, 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 cancer, oh, yeah, no, cancer, no, okay? Plus, these symptoms are common to a lot of us, especially when we get old people like me, so one or the two symptoms will be there, but that doesn't mean I have cancer. If that symptom persists for more than two to three, then, then only I have to worry about okay? Now, let's start. Unusual bleeding or discharge from the body. नाक से नक्सीर हजारों दफा कईयों को फूटती है इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि उनको कैंसर हो गया गम में से ब्लीडिंग हो रही है इसका मतलब तो नहीं कैंसर हो गया फाइल हो जाती है इसका मतलब तो नहीं कैंसर हो गया बट इफ दिस ब्लीडिंग फॉर दस फॉर मोर देन टेन टू ट्वेल्व डेज और मोर देन टू टू थ्री वीक्स वी हैव टू रूल आउट कैंसर नॉट नेसरली इट इज कैंसर दे हैव टू रूल आउट ए सोर विच डजेंट हील फॉर मोर देन टू टू थ्री वीक्स Change in the bowel or bladder habits. See, most of us will pass stool once in a day, pass urine five, six times a day, or maybe once or twice at night. But then, if I start passing urine a lot more frequently, I have the urge to go to the bathroom again and again, but I am not able to evacuate my bladder fully. Incomplete evacuation bladder. I have hesitancy in starting the urination. I have difficulty in passing the urine and there is always, you see, a thinning of my urine stream. Then I have to worry about cancer. But this can be due to my prostate enlargement, which could be a benign prostate also. So if somebody has this symptom, please don't get scared, okay? Stool, I'm, I was going once in a day or maybe twice in a day and suddenly I see I'm constipated for days together or I have diarrhea. Or I have an alternate diarrhea and constipation, I have to rule, can, rule out cancer. Nagging cough and hoarseness. That doesn't mean cancer. But if it persists for more than two to three weeks, yes, we have to rule out cancer. Similarly, difficulty in swallowing food, lump or a mass, gaunt, in breast or any part of the body, 95% of these gaunts are benign but five percent are malignant how do i know which one is malignant and which one is not so i have to get the testing done change in the size shape and color of a mold so these are the warning signs of cancer but my objective of the talk is when these signs are there that means the cancer gets confirmed it's already in a stage one or two or three or four i don't want to reach that stage i want to prevent the cancer when there are none of these symptoms. There are no symptoms at all. I want to detect cancer at a stage when there are no symptoms at all. You have none of these. I was okay. I went to check up and the doctor said, this is not a problem. 
दिमाग खराब हो गया अपना पैसा बनाने के लिए मुझे कैंसर किया गया चलो दूसरे डॉक्टर के पास दूसरे अस्पताल में ना वट वी आर टेलिंग यू इज दैट नो बडी इज गोइंग टू कॉल इट ए कैंसर अनलेस इट इज ए कैंसर सो प्लीज डोंट गेट दिस मिस गाइडेंस सो नाउ वी कम टू द मेन सब्जेक्ट ऑफ प्रिवेंशन सो वी डिवाइड द प्रिवेंशन इन टू थ्री द प्राइमरी द सेकेंडरी एंड द टर्शन वॉट इज प्राइमरी प्रिवेंशन I should not get cancer at all. That's primary prevention. That is the beauty. That's the beauty of prevention. Now, before the cancer becomes apparent, before we can detect it, it is already in our body for maybe two years, three years, four years, five years. Before it can be detected, it is already in our body. So. when it is already in the body we have to pick it up at an early stage we have to detect it in an early stage so that we can cure it so that is secondary prevention primary we should not get it secondary if it has already started kind of uh, the uh, growing in our body we have to catch it early in tertiary that is third stage and fourth in tertiary we are just trying to reduce the disability and the suffering that's all we are not curing it now what are the factors to prevent cancer primary prevention be as lean as possible without becoming old you hand absolutely koi mushkil nahi hai bilkul mushkil nahi hai possible hai hum sab kar sakte hain niyat se jis din aapki niyat ban gayi you will become thin be physically active for at least 30 minutes every day ye 30 minutes to kehne ke liye the minimum hai i at the age of 77 from 4 to 7 i do nothing but apne jism ki ragdai 3 ghante beat pranayam beat meditation beat exercising beat walking so 3 hours i spend on my body and that is why i am in a shape that you can see me so you can do gardening you can do cycling you can do anything swimming but be active that's all we want to say now coming to our food jo hamare rishi muni kya khate the kandamul janglon mein rehte the kandamul khate the aur unki sehat kya badhiya hoti thi 100 saal jeete the दूध पीते थे दही खाते थे नेचुरल चीजें खाते थे सो ईट मोर ऑफ ए वराइटी ऑफ वेजिटेबल फ्रूट होल ग्रेन पल्स बीन नट्स दैट यू शुड ईट होल सीरियस होल ग्रेन आटा मैदा नहीं आटा जौ बाजरा मक्का होल ग्रेन खाइए एंड एवॉइड शुड ग्रीन ड्रिंक्स इतना बड़ा बर्गर आएगा उसके साथ इतना बड़ा कोला आएगा कोला नहीं आएगा तो मेरे को अच्छा पाइन एपल जूस दे दो पाइन एपल वन कुछ नहीं है सिर्फ चीनी है उसके अंदर 300 हंड्रेड आएगा और 300 हंड्रेड कैलरीज आपको देखे जाए सो so, इस बर्गर के अंदर क्या है बासी सब्जियाँ प्रजर्वेटिव मैदा चीज मक्खन मोटापा तो आएगा कहाँ जाएगा so we have to limit consumption of our good food and the red meat such as beef pork and lamb and avoid processed meat processing ke andar jo aapke ho jate hain na preservative they are also cause cancer and alcohol we have already told you now aajkal ye snacks delicious salty snacks what do they have lot of sodium नमक नमकीन है बहुत स्वाद है एक पैकेट हाथ में आ जाए छोड़ने को दिल नहीं करता जब तक पूरा खत्म ना हो जाए रिजल्ट इंडिया द स्टेट्स विच हैव ए हाई कंजम्पन ऑफ सॉल्ट विल गेट कैंसर द समर कश्मीर चाय में चीनी नहीं डालते वो नमक डाल डाल के पीते हैं दैट इज वाई द इंसिडेंस ऑफ कैंसर समर कैंसर इज हाइस्ट इन कश्मीर गो टू साउथ very highly salted you see 
food, spicy food, again summer time. So kindly avoid it. There are people, मैं ये भी supplement ले रहा हूँ, मैं वो भी supplement ले रहा हूँ, तो मैं अपने आप को protect कर रहा हूँ cancer से. Oh, मैं तो ये भी ले लिया, मैंने ये भी ले लिया, मैं no, nothing is going to protect us from cancer. Now, I told you the incidence of breast cancer has increased in the last three decades. What happened? In the last three decades, we the women want to be career oriented, don't want to get married. If we get married, we don't want to have children. If we get children, we don't want to breastfeed them. God has given us breast to feed the children, not for anything else. So, if we are not doing that, again that's a lifestyle and that will also promote cancer, one. And God forbid if you have a child and you don't feed the child, child will start falling sick again and again because you are not passing on the immune, the antibodies to that child. So it is better to breastfeed the child for at least six months so that you can be given all your antibodies. Some of the cancer survivors will come. Up to my ठीक हो गए डॉक्टर साहब हाँ जी आप बिल्कुल ठीक हो गए पक्का पक्का अब मेरे को ये प्रेवेंटिव स्टेप्स करने की जरूरत तो नहीं है नहीं बेटा जरूरत तो है क्यों? We have seen people who have one cancer is cured for example oral cancer is cured and then we will get a cervical cancer or a bladder cancer or a colon cancer or a lung cancer second cancer we have seen triple disease also. Three cancers in the same person. 10 years, 15 years, it's okay, the other cancer is okay. 10 years, 15 years, it's okay, the third cancer is okay. So, we cannot go off our guard. As we say, we don't leave masks. 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 Similarly, cancer prevention is definitely necessary. Now, what is the all households will have cleaning food, fluids, paints, thinners, pesticides. Whether we use them or our servants or the maids use them. We will have the mask and the glove when we clean the baby so that you don't inhale them. Fungicides and chemicals. Sexual partners. In the old days, there was one baby. The king and the king left them. उनका तो रानियों का तो एक पति होता था ना, but cancer of the cervix is very high in the men who have multiple sexual partners. Practice sun safety and recognize when skin changes occur. Don't worry about it. We Indians don't get skin cancer as much. Treatment of HIV, hepatitis B, C, papilloma virus treatment is available and get vaccinated for hepatitis B and human with papilloma virus. So these factors are all under your control and you can prevent cancer. These factors are not purely under your control. Air pollution, you all know about it. Groundwater pollution, you all know about it. Food adulteration, pesticides, chemical in your food, you know all about it. I don't have to talk about that. Now I talked about how to achieve the primary prevention change our lifestyle, give up this, give up this, get vaccinated. What about secondary prevention? Which means the cancer has already started developing in my body. I have to stop it at that stage, catch it, detect it, treat it, cure it. That is secondary prevention. What do I do for that? Monthly self-examination. What is a monthly self-examination? Once in a month, we do our self-examination. Nobody knows our body better than ourselves. Doctor ke apne to aapki body 50 saal se to dekhi nahi hai. Ek din mein usko kaise pata chalega ki aapki body mein kya ho raha hai kya nahi. But if you examine your, do a self-examination, which means once in a month, women who are menstruating, eight to ten days after the period, otherwise choose any day. Take off all your clothes, stand in front of a full mirror, Examine your body with your eyes and hands. Eyes, we call it inspection. Hands, we call it palpation. First, the inspection. So, I look at my face. Yaan kuch ubhra wa to nahi hai. Yaan kuch hulta bulta to nahi hai. Open my mouth. Andar kuch gaat vaat to nahi hai. 
कोई पैच तो नहीं है रेड वाइट ब्लैक ब्राउन मेरा कोई गम में से ब्लीडिंग तो नहीं हो रही है कोई अल्सर तो नहीं है मेरे मुंह के अंदर कमिंग टू द नेक आई टर्न माई नेक ऑन वन साइड कोई यहाँ पे गिल्टी तो नहीं नजर आ रही आई टर्न ऑन द साइड कोई गिल्टी तो नहीं नजर आई आई गो टू द चेस्ट आई सी माई ब्रेस दोनों एक साइज की हैं कोई एक छोटी एक बड़ी तो नहीं है कोई गांठ तो नहीं है उसके अंदर कोई उसका कंटूर उसका साइज और शेप बदला हुआ तो नहीं है कोई निप्पल मेरी जो अंदर धसी तो नहीं हुई है रिट्रैक्टेड निप्पल तो नहीं है इफ आई प्रेस माई निप्पल क्या उसमें से कोई डिस्चार्ज तो नहीं निकल रहा है देन आई गो डाउन लुक एट माई ओब्यूमन पिछली दफ़ा तो मेरा पेट इतना फूला हुआ नहीं था ये एक तरफ से क्या उभरा हुआ क्या आ रहा है ये गांठ की गांठ है क्या है देन आई गो टू माई जेनिटेलिया ये टेस्टिकल ठीक है सेम साइज शेप के हैं ये कोई ज़्यादा बड़ा हुआ तो नहीं है ये हार्ड तो नहीं हो गया आई लुक एट माई पीनेस प्रप्यूज उसको जो उसकी फ्रंट फोर स्किन होती है उसको प्रप्यूज बोलते हैं उसको हटा के देखो ठीक ठाक है कि नहीं है फोर लिम्स कहीं से कोई गांठ वाँट तो नज़र नहीं आ रही है कहीं को कोई कुछ तो नहीं है कोई गड़बड़ तो नहीं है दिस इज इन्फेक्शन ना हो तो पैल्पेशन पैल्पेशन इज डाल देते तो मैं अपने सिर में पूरा हाथ फेर के देखूँ मैं यहाँ पे हाथ फेर के देखूँ मैं इधर हाथ फेर के देखूँ कि कहीं पे कोई गांठ तो नहीं है गर्दन में छाती में पेट में बाजू में हाथ में टांगों में कहीं पे मेरे कोई गांठ तो नहीं है सो आई हैव टू पैल्पेट दैट और अगर कोई गांठ है तो क्या वो सॉफ्ट है कि वो बहुत सख्त है पत्थर की तरह सख्त इफ देर इज ए लम और ए पैच और ए गांठ It is a solid, hard like wood or a stone. Hundred percent cancer. Hundred percent it is cancer. Ten percent of the cancers can be detected by self-examination. We get ladies with breast cancer. आपको कैसे पता चला? मेरी माई थी ना वो मेरी मालिश कर रही थी कहती मेम साहब ये गांठ क्या है? A माई or a maid who is not educated. she can ask you what is this gant and mem sab doesn't know what that gant is because mem sab has never bothered to palpate the breast so this is very important then we come to the cancer screening or an annual health check up corona has made us all very health conscious and now lot more people are coming for the cancer screening also annual health check up but one year in between everybody sat at home ghar se bahar nahi nikla so the screening was not being done never mind main kyun karu usse screening main to theek hu main kyun karu maine hai to mere paisa barbaad karna hai ga utne ka to main kuch aur khareed lunga why should i waste my money on this because we are not bothered we take health for granted we are not bothered about health but now everybody wants to get a checkup so people do but checkup to karana hai magar paisa bada lagta hai so to answer that we provide free cancer screening at our hospital with an appointment okay what does a free cancer screening include for women mammography mammography is the x-ray of the breast or an ultrasound of the breast pap smear pap smear what do we do we put a in the vagina we put a small little swab take the sample of the vaginal fluid at the cervical fluid put it on a uh, what do you call it a slide strain it and see the beauty of the pap smear is that i can predict looking at that pap smear this woman is perfectly normal nothing to do cnn 1 5 years later she may get cancer cnn 2 Within two three years she'll get cancer. C N N three. Within a year she's going to get cancer. So I can predict five years hence that the woman can get cancer. So we don't tell them that you're going to get cancer. We said you have to come for a regular follow-up. We'll keep on doing your Pap smear regularly as long as it doesn't shift from C N N one to two or two to three or three to four. You are safe. You want to have as many children? Please go ahead and have it. you have this window but your cervix and the uterus will finally have to be removed pap smear what a simple test what a beautiful test 
to detect. That is why I say cancer service which used to be 40% has come down to 20%. Beauty of the pap smear. All sexually active women should get a pap smear done once in a year. Which means age, you know, 25, 30, 35. But people who are not sexually active, after 40 years, once in a year. FNAC, what is FNAC? Fine needle aspiration cytology. You take a fine needle, like you put it in a vein to withdraw the blood. So we put this needle into a lump or a gant or a tumor and withdraw the fluid or the cells from there to see whether they are malignant or they are benign. And if ultrasound is required, we do the ultrasound. So these investigations are totally free and we do it for the women. And for men, because we over here, the, the two cancers that we are, we can pick up at an early stage is the breast and the cervix. Men, the prostate we can pick it up early and we can pick up the oral cancer early. Oral cancer, if I see the patch, which is right, red, brown, white, any patch or bleeding gum. So I test it. If it is pre-malignant or malignant, if it is pre-malignant, what do I do? Laser, outdoor. How? Karvao, jao. Umar bat ki chutti. And if it is stage one, we have to treat it. We have different means of treating and we treat it. So for men, we do a total physical examination, including the head to toe. And then in the mouth, if there's something, we do whatever we have to do. And for prostate, we do a digital rectal examination. Digit, this is a digit, this is a rectum. We put in the uh, finger in the rectum and feel the two lobes of the prostate. Are they soft, equal in size, increase in size, hard, stony hard, and with a digital rectal examination, we are almost 80-90% sure that this is a benign prostate or this is a malignant prostate. Then, we do a prostate specific antigen, which is a blood test, to confirm or rule out. A chest x-ray if required, and ultrasound if the, we can see the hardness, then only we do an ultrasound, and then we take out a biopsy from that area and rule out or confirm the cancer. So this is our screening program. We also have a bus, which is fitted with a mammography machine, Facilities for pap smear, facility for doing the oral examination, and facility for doing the prostate cancer detection. Tertiary prevention, most difficult. These two were very easy. You could do it, both of us could do it, but this one, very difficult. Tertiary prevention is comprehensive cancer care as per national and international treatment protocol. That means if it is a stage 1 and 2 cancer, it may require surgery, it may require radiotherapy, it may require chemotherapy, it may require all the three, it may require combination of one or two or all the three. Now if it is stage 3 and 4, what is our objective? We have to reduce the suffering in the disability. कुछ भी आप काटोगे मेरे शरीर का कोई भी हिस्सा काट लोगे तो डिसेबिलिटी तो होएगी। If you're chopping off my leg, amputating my leg or arm, so you have to rehabilitate me. So you you have not only caused me a physical problem, you called me an emotional and a psychological, spiritual and financial problem, all the problems. So tertiary prevention is reducing suffering and disability. That is why we came. If you detect cancer in a pre-cancer state. Within 60, 70, 80,000, you are cured. You detect it in a stage one, maybe lack or two, you are cured. Up to two, second stage also that happens. Go to stage three and four, you lose your bank balance, you lose your life, you lose your body parts. So, your next question will be, how to increase chances of cancer cure? Monthly self-examination, pick it up at an early stage, annual health checkup, get it detected at an early stage, complete diagnosis checkup to confirm and rule out cancer. You have suspected the cancer by a monthly self-examination or an annual self-examination. Now you will rule it out or confirm with detailed investigation. Staging workup to find out the stage of the disease, 
Why do we need to find the stage of the disease? Because if we don't know the stage, we cannot start the treatment. Treatment will vary from stage to stage. And the most important thing is that you have to have a very, very positive attitude and a will to fight cancer. Have faith in yourself, faith in your God, and faith in the treating team. One third of the job is done by these two things. Two thirds, leave it to the doctor, but please do one third of the job yourself. Dear COVID, <laughs> COVID, 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 something. But COVID ne bhaat kuch sikhaya. Kya sikhaya COVID? Don't take health for granted. Pahle cremation ground mein jada thai? Oh ho, bachara mar gya. Achha, kya tha usko cancer tha? Kya tha usko TB tha? Kya tha usko heart attack tha? Kya tha? Yaan se suna, yaan se nikala. Ab lagta hai ki hume bhi ho sakta hai. Jaise cancer ne kisi ko nahi chhoda. Na raiz ko, na garib ko. Na mote ko, na patle ko, na bute ko, na bute ko. Kisi ko nahi chhoda usne. نہ امیر کو نہ غریب کو کینسر بھی اسی طرح کسی کو نہیں چھوڑتا تو کووڈ کے لیے ہم نے کیا کیا پاپڑ نہیں ملے کیا کیا پاپڑ نہیں ملے ہم سب نے کوئی کاڑے پی رہا ہے کوئی یہ کر رہا ہے کوئی وہ رہا ہے یہ کھا لینا وہ کھا لینا یہ بٹ اینڈ دین یو سی اس نے کتنے بندے مار دیے کتنے بندے مار دیے کینسر نے ایک سال کے اندر جنوری ٹو ڈسمبر سات لاکھ چوراسی ہزار آٹھ سو اکیس ڈیتھ ہوئی کینسر سے اور کووڈ سے کتنی ہوئی ایک لاکھ پچاس ہزار پانچ سو ستر چھ گنا سات گنا ڈیتھ سات چوراسی از آلموسٹ آٹھ لاکھ ڈیڑھ لاکھ کا جب کا کتنی ڈیتھ ہوئی یہ ڈیتھ کیوں بڑھی اس ایک سال کے اندر کینسر کی ڈیتھ کیوں بڑھی پیپل اسٹاپ کمنگ فار کینسر اسکرین پیپل ہو اور ایڈوائز سرجری فار کینسر دس ٹائپ سیٹ بیک ہوم ریڈیشن کیمو کچھ نہیں ہوا ٹریٹمنٹ نہیں کرا ادھر بیٹھ کے اسٹیج ون بیکیم ٹو اینڈ ٹو بیکیم تھری اینڈ تھری بیکیم فور اینڈ دیٹ واز دا اینڈ آف دا لائف سو اتنی لمبی بات کر کے آپ سے میں یہ آپ کے ساتھ اتنا سمے کیوں بتا رہی ہوں بیکاز آئی نو یو آر اوور فیوچر ہم نے اپنی زندگی جی لی ہمیں جو ہونا تھا ہو لیا آپ کو اپنی جیون بچانا ہے اپنے ماں باپ کا بتانا ہے اپنے بچوں کا بتانا ہے اپنے کولیگس کا بتانا ہے اس کے لیے کائنڈلی وتھ فولڈیڈ ہینڈ آئی ریکویسٹ یو پلیز پلیز اسٹے وے فرام الکوہل اینڈ ٹبیکو اسٹے وے فرام دس فاسٹ فوڈ مینٹین اے ہیلدی لائف اسٹائل اینڈ فالو دا ریکمنڈیشن فار پریونٹنگ کینسر یو آر یگ گروپ Most of the students may not require uh, screening. But your parents do. Your elder siblings do. Your aunts and uncles do. Kindly tell them. Send them. We'll give you a telephone number. You can go to our website. You can may email us. And send them for a free cancer screening. Because your parents are also very, very important to you. And support the prevention of cancer and become a volunteer. This is how you can help. Thank you very much. God bless you. If you have any questions, I'll be very happy to answer them before I go to the palliation. This is our website. This is our phone number for appointment, email. And we also have a feedback program where you will kind of, whatever you want to fill up in those forms, kindly fill them out. And kindly, Don't go with, fill up in a hurry. Ask yourself, Let go, leave it. But I didn't start yet. I was thinking about it. No, I didn't start yet. To leave it, I didn't start yet. I didn't start yet. But my friend is drinking. My father is drinking. He has to leave it. So you have to do that. Thank you very much. The house is open for your questions. Hello, Mr. Nehru. Yes, Mr. Nehru. No 
question. The question is not here. It's not here. Uh, ma'am, there's one other question that, uh, you know, uh, again, this is related to 
the supplement wala thing that i was asking uh, one student has asked if you want to develop physical health now most of the times you no know, they uh, ask you to take supplements protein supplements that kind of supplements so how to develop be healthy without using those supplements normal adult jo bachche hain अगर वेजिटेरियन है तो पनीर की दो तीन टिकड़ियाँ अगर अंडा खा सकते हैं तो एक आधा अंडा अगर ये इतना खा ले रहे हैं तो उनको प्रोटीन मिल गई काफ़ी मिल गई और अगर दालें हैं लेग्यूम है काला चना है सफ़ेद चना है लोहिया है राजमा है आ, क्या बोलते हैं और वो मटरा टाइप का आता है वो आता है ये लोडेड में प्रोटीन होती है अगर मोस्ट ऑफ आस इन नॉर्थ इंडिया यू के उनके घरों के अंदर दाल एक टाइम जरूर बनती है और पंजाबियों के घर के अंदर तो राजमा चना ये एक चीज़ बनती बनती एक सब्जी और एक चीज़ बनती बनती है दही के बिना पंजाबी खाना खाते ही नहीं है दूध दही के बिना खाते नहीं है पनीर के बिना खाते नहीं है तो पीपल लाइक मी डोंट नीड एनी सप्लीमेंट एट ऑल वाई शुड आई टेक सप्लीमेंट इफ आई एम टेकिंग रेगुलर नॉर्मल खाना घर का पंजाबी खाना बिल्कुल बढ़िया है खाली मक्खन ज़्यादा खिला देते हैं पराठे खिला देते हैं वो मत खाओ बाकी नॉर्मल खाना खाओ कोई सप्लीमेंट की जरूरत नहीं बट इफ यू आर गोइंग टू से कि नहीं मेरे को तो वजन भी घटाना है और मैं ये भी छोड़ दिया मैंने ये भी छोड़ दिया ये भी छोड़ दिया फिर खाओ सप्लीमेंट और क्वेश्चन सुनो प्लीज आज क्वेश्चन लिमिटेड टू द टॉप पिक इट सर डोंट आस्क एवरी थिंग there's another simple question ma'am uh, about drinking water in copper utensils uh, is it beneficial or very 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 very, 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 very. copper is a very very good thing purane zamane mein lote dekhe honge na jo aapne dekhe honge yes. lote wo sare ke sare copper ke hi hote the tambe ke mandiron ke puja ke liye jo samay bartan rakhe jate hain wo bhi tambe ke rakhe jate hain okay uh, any other questions Okay, then we start the palliative care. Yes, ma'am. I'm sure uh, most of you would be hearing palliative care for the first time. What palliative care is all about? Care is care. ध्यान रखना. Palliation is relief देना. अगर मैं किसी को रिलीज देती हूँ उसका कोई भी जो कष्ट है जो उसकी दुविधा है उसको मैं हटाती हूँ चाहे वो फिजिकल है चाहे वो इमोशनल है चाहे वो स्पिरिचुअल है चाहे वो कल्चरल है चाहे वो फाइनेंशियल है तो पैलेटिव केयर इज रिलीज ऑफ दैट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ पैलेटिव केयर तो डब्ल्यू एच ओ की डेफिनेशन पैलेटिव केयर इज एन एक्टिव कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव केयर ऑफ पेशेंट सफरिंग फ्रॉम इनक्योरेबल प्रोग्रेसिव लाइफ थ्रेटनिंग कंडीशन इट इज नॉट लिमिटेड टू द पेशेंट एंड देयर फैमिली नॉट लिमिटेड टू वन डॉक्टर बाई ए मल्टी प्रोफेशनल टीम इट डजेंट फिनिश days or hours or months it extend far beyond physical care throughout the life of the patient and even after the patient is gone it includes the care of the family it's not 360 degree care of the patient alone it is a 360 care of the family also it's a very broad kind of a thing okay so when we talk about palliative care what do we do most of these patients you see have pain and it's excruciating pain bahut dard dard cheekh rahe hain chilla rahe hain cancer ki wajah se bones ke andar cancer chala gaya hai aur uski wajah se bony pains hai badi zabardast hai kisi cheez se theek nahi ho rahi hai cheez se theek nahi ho rahi ये भी खा लिया वो भी खा लिया ये भी कर लिया वो भी कर लिया सो वी हैव टू रिलीव दैट पेन डॉक्टर ने जवाब दे दिया जी कैंसर है फोर्थ स्टेज का कुछ नहीं कर सकते डिजीज को क्योर करने के लिए आप कुछ नहीं कर सकते 
बट डिजीज से फोकस हटा के पेशेंट के ऊपर फोकस लाइए पेशेंट की फैमिली के ऊपर फोकस लाइए और उसकी जो पेन है वो हो सकता है फिजिकल हो हो सकता है उसकी इमोशनल हो आपने फिजिकल पेन के लिए दवाई दी जा रही है और पेन किलर आपने मॉर्फिन भी दे दी फिर भी नहीं जा रही उसके दिमाग में कुछ और चल रहा है उसकी साइकी में कुछ और चल रहा है उसकी आत्मा में कुछ और चल रहा है उसके दिमाग के ऊपर कुछ और हो जाए वो भी उसको दर्द दे रहा है सो यू हैव टू रिलीज द पेन एंड अदर डिस्ट्रेसिंग सिम्टम कुछ भी डिस्ट्रेस दे सकता है आपको किसी वजह से भी डिस्ट्रेस हो सकती है सो यू हैव टू दैट इज वॉट द बेनिफिट केयर देर फोर इट इज नॉट ओनली द मेडिकल केयर इट इंटीग्रेट द साइकोलॉजिकल सोशल स्पिरिचुअल फाइनेंशियल आस्पेक्ट ऑफ पेशेंट केयर ऑल्सो इट इज थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री इट ऑफर द सपोर्ट सिस्टम टू हेल्प पेशेंट लिव एज एक्टिवली एज पॉसिबल टिल द लास्ट बेट विद डिग्निटी कैंसर के अंदर क्या होता है जिस वक्त स्टेज वन है टू है We are not bothered about it. We'll cure it. Stage थ्री के अंदर वो लिम्फ नोट में चला गया वो स्टेज फोर में शुरू हुआ ब्रेस्ट में शायद दिमाग में भी चला गया शायद फेफड़े में भी चला गया शायद लेवर में भी चला गया हड्डियों में भी चला गया सो द पैलेटिव केयर विल स्टार्ट वेन इट हेज गॉन टू द लिम्फ नोट और इट हेज गॉन टू द डिस्टेंट ऑर्गन सो पैलेटिव केयर स्टार्ट तो ये पैलेटिव केयर का मतलब नहीं है कि एंड ऑफ लाइफ केयर नहीं है ये इसके लिए यू कैन लिव फॉर इयर्स टुगेदर फॉर पैलेटिव केयर सो देयर फॉर वी से वी ऑफर सपोर्ट सिस्टम टू हेल्प पेशेंट लिव एज एक्टिवली एज पॉसिबल टिल्ड्रेन बेस्ट विथ डिग्निटी वी यूज अ टीम अप्रोच टू एड्रेस द नीड्स ऑफ द पेशेंट एंड देर फैमिली उनकी जरूरतें क्या है उनका वैल्यू सिस्टम क्या है उनका कल्चरल सिस्टम क्या है उनकी आस्थाएं क्या है उनको समझिए और उसके हिसाब से उनका इलाज करिए ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू इनहांस द क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ इम्प्रूव द क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ एंड इफ वी डू दैट दिस पॉजिटिवली इन्फ्लुंस द कोर्स ऑफ द इलनेस ऑल्सो एंड इंक्रीज इज द लाइफ स्टाइल सो वी शिफ्टिंग द फोकस फ्रॉम द डिजीज एंड ब्रिंगिंग इट टू दैश पेशेंट एंड द फैमिली and the most important we stop using unnecessary investigation procedure drugs and expenditure that is what the palliative care is all about why are we talking about palliative care itne saal se humne palliative care ki baat kyon nahi kari kabhi aapne suna bhi nahi hoga kabhi cancer prevention pe to aapne bahut suna hoga हमने भी कभी पैलेटिव केयर पे बात नहीं करी पब्लिक अवेयरनेस के लिए अस्पताल के अंदर तो हम बात करते हैं क्योंकि हमें करनी पड़ती है लेकिन पब्लिक अवेयरनेस के लिए तो करी नहीं पब्लिक अवेयरनेस में बात करने की जरूरत क्यों पड़ी है वन इंसिड ऑफ सब क्रिजीज बी इट हार्ट बी इट लंग बी इट किडनी ड्यू टू अवर लाइफ स्टाइल ऑल दीज डिजीजेज आर इनक्रीज हमारे लाइफ स्टाइल की वजह से एंड बीमारियां भी पड़ रही है हमारी लॉन्जिटिविटी भी बढ़ रही है 47 में आपको पता है कि हमारी लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी कितनी थी बट फिफ्टीज में कितनी थी और अभी कितनी है अब मेरे जैसे 77 सेवन ईयर्स के बैठे हुए बंदे आपको मिल रहे हैं जू जू उम्र बढ़ेगी शरीर के अंदर कुछ ना कुछ तो बीमारी आएगी सो so, घर में पेरेंट्स हैं ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स हैं बड़े बहन भाई हैं बच्चों को भी तकलीफ हो सकती है सो so, when the hospital or the doctors tell you this cannot be cured you har man ke nahi baithna har man ke nahi baithna we can still make the patient live as a dignified life as a productive life as possible as as i told you 12 lakh cases har saal hum डिटेक्ट करते हैं साढ़े आठ लाख का एक एक करीब एडवांस स्टेज में डायग्नोज होते हैं जबकि और हो ही नहीं सकता तो ये साढ़े आठ लाख लोग कोई रात रात में मरने वाले तो नहीं है ना दे कैन लिव फॉर इयर्स टू गिव यू एन एग्जांपल माय फादर वाज डिटेक्टेड विद स्टेज फोर कैंसर वे बैक इन एटी वन डाइड इन एटी एट सेवन ईयर्स स्टेज फोर 
अब डॉक्टर ने कह दिया कुछ नहीं हो सकता दिनों की बात है हफ्तों की बात है महीना खींच जाएंगे एटी वन में कह दिया कि डाइड इन एटी एट जो भगवान ने मेरा लाइफ साइकिल लिखा हुआ है जो मेरी एक्सपायरी डेट लिखी है उससे पहले कोई नहीं मरने वाला बट देन बिटवीन द डे ऑफ द डायग्नोज एंड द डेथ नो बडी नोज हाउ मेनी ईयर्स आर देयर यू कांट लीव द पेशेंट कि इसका कोई इलाज नहीं है नहीं है इलाज मानते हैं नहीं है इलाज लेकिन उसको पेशेंट को कंफर्टेबल तो करना है उसको डिजीज फ्री तो नहीं करना उसको सिम्टम फ्री तो करना है ना सो दैट इज वॉट दैरिट केयर अबाउट एंड इट इज बींग प्रोडिक्टेड दैट बाई द ईयर टू थाउजेंड थर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी फोर लैख पीपल विल रिक्वायर पैरिट केयर बीमारियाँ बढ़ रही हैं जिंदगी लंबी हो ही जा रही है तो पैरिट केयर सबको जरूरत पड़ेगी सो वेदर इट्स माई पेरेंट्स और इट इज माई सिबलिंग्स और माई आंट्स एंड अंकल्स और ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स वी कॉन्ट लेट दम गो लाइक दैट वी हैव टू टेक केयर दम वाई अगर आज हम उनका ध्यान नहीं रखेंगे कल जब हमारी बारी आएगी हमारा ध्यान रखने वाला कोई नहीं आएगा उसने तो हमारे मम्मी पापा ने तो ग्रैंड पेरेंट को नहीं देखा था हम क्यों देखें सीधा सीधी सी बात है सो दैट इज वाई ना वट आर द डिजीज इज रिक्वायर पैरेटिव केयर कार्डियोवास्कुलर डिजीज इज मैक्सिम थर्टी एट पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट कैंसर थर्टी फोर परसेंट क्रॉनिक लंग डिजीज 